here you are in this boy band and 99% of your audience mm -hmm. are, are young women exactly. who are willing to throw themselves at you. And for you, that's like, eh. Yeah, it was God's little joke to put me in a boy band, right? <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Al Roker. Welcome to Cold Cuts. It's where we pile on the questions to our guest while our guest and I pile on the cold cuts, the toppings, the cheeses, anything you can imagine. It's all here. Our guest today, Lance Bass. That's right, you know him, you love him, you can't live without him. He's an <laughs> actor, singer, producer, philanthropist, and the member of Oh, I don't know, a boy band you may have heard of, In Sync. That's right. Well, today He's going to make his dream sandwich, so let's get started. Well, it's good to What's see you. What's going on, man? Good this, to see you. Well, this is this is really exciting. Oh, I'm excited. I've never done a show where I actually get to eat, so this is <laughs> like perfect. First of all, we've got a couple of your favorite foods. I understand gumbo. Mm -hmm. I'm from the South. Uh -huh. I grew up around New Orleans, so you know you have to love the gumbo, and yeah. I make a mean. Gumbo. Do you really? I do. I yeah. Do. Well, what's the secret if it's to your gumbo? Um, you know, I don't do a seafood gumbo. I do a chicken and uh, sausage gumbo. Ah. So yeah. Uh, and now I see there's a platter of, of uh -huh. Olive Garden. Uh -huh. What's the deal with the Olive Garden? All right. So on tour with mm -hmm. Sync, after every show that we would do, we would still be in our clothes, you know, completely drenched. <laughs> And uh, they would have food waiting for us on the bus. I'd been sitting there for three hours, so it'd be mm. very cold. And I always got the tour of Italy from Olive Garden. Yeah, so I would eat that pretty much every single night. These days, I mean, you're not dancing as much. Mm -hmm. So just what at you, home. What's your, what's your, what's your secret to you know keeping that 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 in sync body? Uh, marrying young, I think uh -huh. that helped. Uh, you know, my husband's you know pretty gorgeous, and uh -huh. um, and he has a metabolism like no other. So mm -hmm. it he really helped me change the way I ate. He got me to eat vegetables, and now Ooh. I actually enjoy veggies. So the base of a sandwich, any good sandwich, of course, the bread. What's mm -hmm. your favorite bread? Oh my gosh. You know, uh, I love a ciabatta, uh -huh. for sure. Yeah. Uh, but I'm seeing some French toast over there that might be really you, fun this to one? work with right here. Oh, right, oh French toast. Oh, yeah. You, you, this is, was your favorite? Your it's my favorite. My, my granny used to make this for me uh, mm -hmm. when I would go spend the night with her on the weekends. Okay. And uh, yeah, so that made me love French toast. It's my favorite food. I so we're going to use this as the base? Let's do it. I'm going to okay. do this as yeah, my base. Can you take two slices? All right. Yes. What's the base of your career? We you know I am a base. So That's basically, right. uh, that is the base of my career. It was either become a fisherman mm -hmm. or a bass singer with a boy band. And, uh, and I chose boy band. People don't grow up wanting to be in a boy band, do they? No. Well, I mean, we didn't know what a boy band was when I was young. What did you want to do? I actually wanted to be an astronaut. Yeah. Really? Yeah, as a little kid, I went to uh, Florida for my first shuttle launch with my grandfather, and I just remember watching that, saying, "I want to do that." You actually trained to be an astronaut. I didn't did. you? you were gonna, you were gonna go up. Yeah, I'm a cosmonaut. I'm a certified cosmonaut. Mm -hmm. uh, lived in Russia for a while, and and it was. What was that like? It was intense. I mean, I lived on an army base all by myself, and I trained seven days a week. But it was so fascinating because every single person that worked there at the Yuri Gagarin Center were the ones who started the space program. And you were going to go up, and then then the, some of the financial backing. Yeah. Out? Well, the week before, over insurance, my mission got yeah scrapped because I guess in entertainment, people don't insure people to go to space. Well, we're going to shoot for the stars with our sandwich. Yeah, we are. <laughs> all right, <laughs> I like See it. Bring it back to set. <laughs> This guy's good. I like the lighter proteins now, so I'm more into the chicken and turkey. Uh -huh. um, but I love a good rotisserie chicken. Use my hands because I've washed. That's them quite all right. Us, okay? We have forks if you want to pull some. Oh, fresh. please. Okay, fun. that's my kind uh, of guy. You know, I will pull some of the skin off oh, though, because you know. How you great to, is the skin? I mean, it's. I really mean, come on. Good. Yeah. When yeah. people say, "Oh, take the skin off," don't I mean, do, how many how many calories really is in the skin? I mean, there's a good bit, but, but you know, you got every once in a while you got to treat yourself. Live. Treat Live. yourself. All mm -hmm. right. Now, what about a condiment? to go on the, the sandwich. Do on you? the sandwich, I mean, I love, okay, so this is a nice sweet onion, like jam. Mm -hmm. So I love anything That's onion. That's your jam? That's my jam, that's my jam. So let's put some of this on there. Okay. You've come out, and, and now you've got this great Audible special. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about that. that I, I, I find this fascinating. We did a show in Los Angeles with my friend Nikki Levy, who's this amazing writer, and she throws a show um, called Don't Tell Mama, which is a show where she brings in comedians to talk about stories they would never tell their mom. Mm -hmm. um, and so she did an LGBT version of that where a lot of us came in and shared our funny stories of coming out. Um, and Audible loved it so much they wanted to do a special from it. So what was that like growing up gay in Mississippi and, and 
not being able, not feeling you could tell anybody oh, about yeah. this. It, it was lonely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, I grew up in a small, small town and everyone knew your business. And I knew I was gay since I was five years old. Really? It was just a lonely journey because there was no one you could talk to about it. But hey, once I joined NSYNC, was able to travel, I was like, oh, <laughs> there's people like me? This is great. <laughs> but that must have been kind of this, this weird dichotomy in that here you are in this boy band and 99% of your audience mm -hmm. are, are young women exactly. who are willing to throw themselves at you and for you that's like eh. yeah it was God's little joke to put me in a boy band right <laughs> <laughs> it's like and this is nothing for you <laughs> have fun yeah the girls like these boys but guess who Lance likes after his day on today Katie Curry. Katie Kirk is hot. Wow. She's looking good. Yeah. Who was the first InSync member you told about? Uh, well, it was Joey Fatone, but I didn't really tell him. Mm -hmm. He kind of found out by walking in on me. Uh, my boyfriend at the time was sitting on my lap. I'm at the computer and he was sitting on my lap. And Joey walks into my office and I was like, uh, surprise. Uh, and he was just like, Dude, like I care. Like he was just so cool about it, and that was yeah the first guy that I told. And in fact, you felt a certain uh, responsibility. You didn't want to come out because you you were afraid this was going to ruin the group. Yeah, I mean it was a different time. Yeah. You know, uh, it was. It's hard to believe. It's hard to think. It's only that. been like 15 years, mm -hmm. and but it was such a different environment then, especially in entertainment. Because yeah. if you if you came out as gay, your career was pretty much over unless you knew how to pivot and do something completely different it was done. So I was scared to thinking that, oh my gosh, if my secret got out, then my four best friend career, done. You know, yeah. So I just, I kept it a secret as long as I was in the group. What did that do to you? I mean, as far as, you know, your psyche and, and how you felt? I mean, I've gone through bouts of depression and mm -hmm. I'm sure it's, you know, because of, you know, this big secret that I had. But the other thing it did for me though was really, I mean, my work ethic became crazy good <laughs> because I, I didn't want any personal time. So even on my days off, I was producing this movie, I was doing this, like I always had to stay busy because I didn't want to deal with my personal life. Wow. In a way, you were outed because of a, a, a reporter. Tell me about that story. I found this. Um, I went to P-Town, you know, Provincetown, which is, you know, a very LGBT friendly town. I didn't know what that was mm -hmm. at the time. Uh, and I'm at, you know, a, a gay bar waiting in line for the bathroom. I'm talking to this guy and he's like, you're Lance Bass. I'm like, yeah. He goes, you're gay. I'm like, yeah. He was a reporter. <laughs> I was like, okay. So uh, that's when it started getting out and the magazines were like, look, we have to write the story with or without you. So like, what are you gonna do? Or what's your go-to cheese? Uh, I love a Havarti. Mm. Havarti is like one of my favorites. Um, but I, I mean, I like any kind of cheese. Mm. <laughs> I, I am so excited for you. You've decided, you and your husband have decided to start a family. Yeah. You found a surrogate? We have the surrogate, yes. Mm. Uh, now we're just looking for the egg donor. What are you looking forward to most about fatherhood? I mean, I'm just, I'm excited just to have, you know, a piece of me out there mm -hmm. that we can hopefully, you know, create a great kid. I, I think we need just more positive people out sure. there. Sure, I was gonna say, my boy has, has uh, some learning issues, but you know, he's such a sweet boy. Yeah. He's such a kind, kind boy. Kind is all, I mean, that would be the best thing, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you always hear about these, these, these bands that, you know, one or all, any number don't get along. Can you imagine having done this without you actually being friends? Oh, it would have never worked. Yeah, and that's why so many groups break up. Um, it's because they're forced to be friends. With our group, it was, it was different because we naturally put ourselves together. Mm -hmm. uh, we were all friends first. So, you know, we knew we liked each other before we started really singing music and we all lived together. <sighs> Um, and that's why it lasted, you know, for almost 10 years is, you know, we actually enjoyed every single moment of it and we still talk today. <laughs> Ever a thought of, you know, like taking it back out on the road for a real like <laughs> tour? I mean, it would be so much fun, but I mean, Justin is majorly busy. I mean, he's not stopped since he, yeah. you know, and once he left the group, like he has not had a day off. Um, so yeah, I don't think he would survive if we put together an NSYNC tour. So the secret ingredient, I understand your secret ingredient Truffle. Truffle. I mean, come on. Truffle. I don't even like mushrooms, but when it comes to truffle, mm -hmm, See, it's the I, best thing. I, it kind of smell like feet to me. Oh, you gotta, this is, there's no way this smells like feet. Hold up. Okay, I can see what you're saying. <laughs> I can see what you're saying. See now what I'm that saying? you said now it, that you I, said I, it? I get it. Now you're not gonna, it's never gonna taste the same. I know, right? <laughs> uh, I, I ruined truffles <laughs> for Lance Great. Bass.
It's okay. So yeah. Would you like me and to? Truffle. Oh yeah, shave it right on. Mm -hmm. it's, you have to be very subtle mm -hmm. with truffle. All right, that's good. We don't want like two feet. We don't want two feet. Uh, and then the other secret ingredient mm -hmm. is I like chips on a sandwich because oh. I like a crunch. Funyuns. So you like any kind of crunchy oh, funyun, yeah. onion thing? And since buttermilk biscuits are here, we might as well just put a little coating of buttermilk biscuits. Oh, that's nice. I think I might be good, unless we want to put a little. I feel bad <laughs> with this. I feel bad this tour of Italy sitting here. So maybe just a little bit of fettuccine alfredo because you can't get, you know, enough cheese. <laughs> And now I think I'm ready. Oh wait, I forgot the, oh, the pe pepper. little yeah. peppers for color. Uh, now I understand. Now, what about pickles? I love pickles. Wow. Yes. So we we've, we've topped everything off. Top three best boy bands of all time. Top three best boy bands of all time. Uh, for me personally, because you know people get offended when you choose a side. Uh, New Kids on the Block, just because mm -hmm. it was my first boy band show to go to, and it really inspired me. I'm like, oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. Um, Beatles, of course, because I mean. It's funny, I don't think of them as a boy, but they were a boy band. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's a different different time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, New Kids on the Block, they weren't considered a boy band back then either. Um, boys to Men. I mean, Boys to Men is who inspired us the most. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, vocally, like, we were an a cappella group first, so um, everything they did, we tried to imitate. Top three reality shows of all time. Oh, okay. I love some reality TV. Mm -hmm. Big Brother's my favorite. It, I just think it's my summer indulgence. I think it's a great game. Um, Vanderpump Rules, mm -hmm. which I don't know how they found that cast, but it just keeps delivering and delivering. Incredible. Um, and then there's a show on True TV called um, Adam Runs Everything. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite shows because I like things that are educational. Now, how'd you come pals with Chris Jenner? Uh, Dancing with the Stars. Kim, uh -huh. Kim was on my season of Dancing, uh -huh. um, and she was kicked off, I think, first week. <laughs> so uh, after she got kicked off, I became Chris's new favorite. Okay, top three best in sync song. Tearing Up My Heart, because that one just, it really, I think, kicked off our career. Bye Bye Bye, mm -hmm. I think is one of those songs that, I mean, I, get, I still get goosebumps sure. when I'm doing a show, because it's always the last song, of course, and they always blare it, so it's just the most energetic, amazing feeling. And it makes me ill. It's, mm. um, it's, it's my all-time favorite in sync song, and it was written by the housewife of Atlanta, Candy Burris. Oh, wow. Yeah, a little fun fact there. Uh, favorite Backstreet Boys song? Backstreet songs, Larger Than Life. Uh -huh. Everybody, that one. And then Quit Playing Games With My Heart. Ah, there were, I guess, rumors of uh, there was uh, tension between you guys and Backstreet Boys? Yeah, I mean, of, of course there was tension, but not probably as much as people wanted it to It wasn't to like be. the Sharks or the Jets. No, no, we barely saw the guys. Like, we would, you know, every once in a while tour around each other, and we were all, you know, very cordial. I mean, some of them went cordial. to Cordial, cordial, like very cordial. cordial. But the, the big thing was Lou Pearlman. You know, he was the president of our record label. He was our manager and he created the Backstreet Boys and then he signed us. So there was this big beef, you know, cause he hit us for so long. Um, so it was Lou that was kind of really playing everyone and Puppet saying, uh, oh yeah, being like, oh, so Kevin said this. And then he'd go back to Kevin and be like, oh, so Lance said this. And he was just like really? a 12 year old, yeah. So he was trying to create beef cause I think he thought it would just be better press. Boom, there was yeah. no beef. So I guess it's time to try All right. our creation. Let's do it. Look at those layers. Mmm, it doesn't taste like feet. This is mm. really good. Yeah, this is really good. Okay, I think we stumbled upon something. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. We're gonna wrap it up. Would you take this to go? I will take this to go, because I have not had breakfast. I did not realize your husband's here. Yeah, he is, Michael, yeah. come on in. It's take your husband to work day. It's, <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah. Dave, do you want to try this what creation? You, I have no choice. <laughs> now that you've been kind of shamed into it. Okay, he's going for it. He's always my tester for everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You won't go back. Right? And I want to thank our producers for bringing not just one really good looking guy, but two really good looking guys together so that I just feel really good about myself. He brings up my stock, I have to say. Jeez. <laughs> Well, this has been another edition of Cold Cuts. We'll see you next time when we pile on the meats, the cheese, everything you want. Cold Cuts. Eat it up. Thank you for watching Cold Cuts. To watch more videos like these, just click here. If you want to subscribe to our channel, click here.